I don't want another family having to live like what I lived through last night. All new at 530 tonight, a family pleading for help tonight after their daughter is hit and killed crossing a dangerous Pasco County Road. Thanks for being with us, everyone, and Happy New Year. I'm Paul Legron. And I'm Laura Harris. People who live and work near the crash site say there's already been some dangerous close calls, and ABC Action News reporter Lauren Rosella is taking action tonight to see if there's some changes that can be made to save some lives. We were here as the family came right here to the crash site this morning to place this memorial here and we found out that there have been more than 150 injury crashes in this small stretch of 52 in just the last five years. Now this woman's family wants something done. Her life was cut too short. It really was. Angel St. Pierre Calafiore was here at this Port Ritchie lounge when employees say she wanted to go across the street to the gas station for cigarettes, but a car hit her, killing her as she ran across the road in the dark. I post on my Facebook, I'm really sad right now. I made a friend and lost one all in one day. Rest in peace, pretty girl. She was not in a crosswalk, and that means the driver is not at fault. Others say they've made that same run across the street many times, but now say it's just not worth it. You just never know. I don't want to see nobody else die because they tried to cross the road. Angel's father says the disabled nurse couldn't walk down to the corner to get to the crosswalk after several spinal injuries. He says he then saw other pedestrians putting themselves in danger. While my daughter was laying in that road for five hours, there's six people that crossed right here while she was laying in the road. So that's how dangerous and how people just don't realize how dangerous it is. And they need a crosswalk. And back out here live, uh, we are going to call the Florida Department of Transportation first thing in the morning to see if we can request a traffic study right out here at the crash site to see if it could warrant a crosswalk. And that would be the very first step in order to get one installed. Reporting live in Port Ritchie, Lauren Rosella, ABC Action News.